a little about this. Yeah. It's natural orifice surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, natural orifice surgery is basically an acronym. Um, it's the latest frontier in surgery. Mm -hmm. It uh, enables us basically to do surgery inside the abdomen uh, without doing any incisions on the abdominal wall whatsoever. Instead, we are able to use small incisions either in the stomach or in the vagina to do surgery inside the abdomen uh, to take out gallbladders, for example, or in our case, what we're going to talk about today, uh, the appendix. I was first introduced to this technique, or I first heard about this, about three and a half years ago. And I was so fascinated by the idea of performing this type of surgery and the advantages for these patients that they have no abdominal pain, what's almost no abdominal pain after surgery whatsoever, that in being able to have to go back to work or back to their regular activity within no time, and that they have no scars on the abdomen, that I wanted to take this technique and introduce it actually at Yale and being able to show our patients, um, not really show our patients, but that our patients are being able to receive this type of surgery at Yale. Okay. Now, um, we, you said this is about using the natural orifice to do surgery and you're a surgeon and uh, Dr. Rutherford is a gynecologist and why was it important to have Dr. Rutherford involved with you in this surgery? Why was it important for you to, to be there? And what did you do? I was able to assist Dr. Roberts in the ability to get into the abdominal cavity through the vagina. Mm -hmm. And the way the vaginal vault is constructed, <clears throat> there's two ligaments called the uterosacral ligaments and they support the vaginal. The uterosacral? Uterosacral. Uh -huh. okay. And they they actually attach to the cervix in the abdominal cavity, and they su provide support to the uterine floor. And what we're able to do is go into that avascular plane between the uterosacral ligaments, behind the cervix and the uterus, and in front of the rectum, mm -hmm. and get it, that's as, almost as a natural window to allow us to get into the abdominal cavity. And because you're a gynecologist, this, this is the area you work with normally, so you are very familiar with the entire structure. Correct. Good. Now, we have heard recently about different types of surgery, people using natural orifice. There was a man who had, um, I think, his appendix taken out through his mouth or something, but um, this this particular type of surgery, you said you, the person, the, the woman who had the surgeon had no incisions externally that's, at all. No incision. So there are no stitches to heal on the outside. So let us look at how this is structured. Tell us what we are seeing there. This is the image of the entire, what, cervix and Tell us, who, who wants to, to start telling us what we're seeing? Um, actually, what you're seeing here is, if you want to start on the uh, right side of the screen, mm -hmm. uh, on you see the colon um, coming in there, and at the very bottom of the picture, you see basically the spine, which is white and bluish. That's uh -huh. the spine there. Okay, that's and if the you go to the left on the screen, you see actually a, a long, um, almost looking like an instrument that is yes. called a trocar, uh, which is going through the vagina. Mm -hmm. um, if you look anterior, um, there's a red surrounded um, area with a dark spot in the, air, in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's the bladder. And right behind this, um, going to the right of the screen, you see the uterus. So you see the instrument, the trocar underneath, yes. is going through the vagina passing by the bladder and passing by the uterus to go basically right in this natural window uh, to this abdominal cavity so that we'd be able to uh, perform surgery in the inside uh, without um, injuring the uterus or endangering the uterus at all. Okay, thank you. Here is the thing. When it comes to, to this, um, why is it so important for us to use this surgical procedure, particularly in women? Why is it so Im important or well, beneficial, I should say? I think the benefit is, is on the younger women, 
uh, you, what you have is the ability not to have a scar. So when somebody's out in, with a bikini, mm -hmm. we don't have a scar to worry about and we don't have a, like a keloid formation that you're going to see. Yes, because sometimes when you get stitches afterward, it heals lumpy. That's correct. And that's called keloid. Kelo you can get a keloid formation. Uh-huh. And this you won't get You will that. not get this. Okay. The other thing is, is I think that we, anytime you have a trocar and you put it through a muscle mm -hmm. on the abdominal wall, it definitely will cause you some pain mm -hmm. and it will take you some time to recover from that. Oh, it, it will? It will. Okay. But how much time are we talking about? Well, usually at least a couple of days from the trocars themselves. Oh, a couple of days. All right. So what then are the criteria must a patient meet in order for them to be um, acceptable for this type of surgery? Yeah. It's very strict criteria actually what we developed at Yale uh, mm -hmm. to ensure patient safety because patient safety is obviously paramount and we need to make sure that the safety of the patient is uh, basically given mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. So developing this new technique uh, basically and being able to do this um, here in the United States um, we have to uh, make sure that we have very, very strict criteria in the beginning to be able to offer this to a very selected patient population.